Hi, I'm Jamie Andreas from GuitarPrinciples.com. You know, every day we hear from guitar players who tell us their sad story about how they've been playing for so many years and practicing hard for so many years, and yet they know they really haven't gotten any better on guitar. They basically play the same way they played 20, 30 years ago, and they just play more things the same way. Now, recently I had a student, a uh, longtime guitar player named Don, um, who's played since the age of 14. He's now 57, and he's in that category. <laughs> and because of his struggles to get better on guitar uh, and all the frustration when they got him nowhere, he spent his life putting the guitar down, picking the guitar up, putting it down, picking it up. And that's, again, a very common story. Right now I'd like to show you this interesting lesson where I pointed out to Don that the way he was going about barring on the guitar and trying to play any passage that involved a bar was fundamentally flawed. And because of this, every time he will bar with his first finger and try to do something with his other fingers, he's going to be playing far below his potential. That is, until he gets rid of that problem using the methods and exercises that I've shown him. Play right up to the bar and stop on the bar. Right there. So this is why I gave you the exercise, because the lean here, because the next finger you need is this finger, and look where it is. It's over here. And it's all tense. So, so, so my hand needs to be more like this. Is that what? Yes. Now watch it when I watch if I stopped on that bar. You see, you're like this. I'm like this. Okay. Have your fingers over the thread. Yes. Yeah. Well, have my look how far away from the bar my two is. See, so that went because you then you need to go. You are paying a tremendous price because every when you do the bar, you're allowing the other fingers to tense. The reason you're allowing them to tense is because your fingers aren't strongly developed enough. You don't have the strength right now to do this at the tempo you need to do it. That's why I gave you the exercise, because we're going to build the strength so that you're so that you can be like this. Come here like this. And as the pressure of the bar goes down, nothing happens in my other fingers. Actually, what I just noticed, too, is when you played the first chord, look at my fingers, how separated they are. Right. If you look at your fingers, you're going to see that. What it all means is, is that, like so many players, the interosseous muscles in your hand, the, thing, the muscles between the bones, haven't been properly developed. And there, it's very often the case with guitar players. The flexors are more developed, the ones that do this, mm -hmm. but the hand muscles themselves that do this, that make for this way all my students do the walking exercises, mm -hmm. because it develops those muscles. The bar is especially difficult, though. I mean, it took yeah. me a long time, because I wasn't trained that way either. And I have the same problems. Yeah, just stick it up there and push on it. Yeah, yeah, push as far as you can, and the, the yeah. hell with what the other fingers are doing. The problem is when you need those other fingers, yeah. you know, right away. So that's why. I so you're this. saying as I as I go into the bar, my fingers are actually my other fingers instead of being where they need to be, they're yeah. tense. Exactly. And, they're, and it's not just the hand. I mean, this is a condition of the entire arm. And it affects the entire When your fingers gang up on the bar, see all your fingers are ganging up on the bar. And as the bar goes down with pressure, they're ganging up more and more. They're locking up. It's your like, entire arm is locking up. It's like we're trying to help you hold that pressure. Well, that's you what know, it that's is. What, that's exactly yeah. what it is. And everybody starts bars that way, unless they're really lucky to get exactly the right training. It's what the hand wants to do. And you don't realize in the beginning, you don't realize the price you're paying for incorrect. Because basically, what is it? It's incorrect form. It's incorrect mechanics. I'll tell you one thing you've taught me, though. The guitar, 
among other things, the guitar is a very difficult instrument to play <laughs> because yes. there's nobody that shows you how to play properly. Ba basically, in my experience, yeah, every important thing that I know, I've had to figure out myself. <laughs> and it's like you said, it says. Your teacher says, well, you need to practice more, and it's like, I'm playing every breathing minute. I, yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I used to play that tremolo out. study. I'd play it for hours yeah. trying to, and it's like, the, the more I played it, the worse I got. That's exactly right. And I, know, I knew it was a tension. I knew I was, I, I did, yeah. what do you do? I mean, how do you? Yeah, what do you do about it? Yeah. Okay, so let's do, let's look at that exercise now. Okay, now. 